In this video, we'll install the App Volumes Agent on a packaging machine. You install the App Volumes Agent on your packaging machines and on your virtual desktops and published application servers. The agent can then communicate with the App Volumes Manager to deliver the assigned applications. Before you run the installer, make sure you have the following. For the machine requirements, it depends on whether you're talking about the packaging machine or the machine you will use for making a golden image of the virtual desktop or published application server. In either case, you'll need to take a look at the chapter called Setup of Packaging VMs and Endpoint VMs in the App Volumes Evaluation Guide. On the machine where you plan to install the App Volumes agent, make sure you can log in with an account that has local administrator privileges. After you've got the packaging and endpoint VM set up, you'll also need the fully qualified domain name of the server on which App Volumes Manager is installed. The App Volumes ISO image needs to either be copied to the machine and mounted, or, as is the best practice, the ISO contents need to be extracted to a shared folder accessible to the VM. For this demonstration, a Windows 10 VM is used as an app packaging machine. I'll right-click the ISO image and mount it. Then go into the installation folder and double-click Setup. After a while, the welcome page of the installation wizard appears. Click Next. Now this same installer is used for all components. So in this case, select App Volumes Agent and click Install. On the welcome page of the App Volumes Agent setup wizard, click Next. Here's where you enter the fully qualified domain name of the machine on which App Volumes Manager is installed. For this exercise, select the checkbox that says Disable Certificate Validation with App Volumes Manager and click Next and click Install. It's a lot quicker to install the agent than it is the App Volumes Manager. When it's all complete, click Finish. When you're prompted to restart the machine, click Yes. Now, if you log into the App Volumes Manager console and go to the Directory Computers tab, in the list of computers, you can see the machine where you just installed the App Volumes agent. If you click the machine name, you can find all sorts of information, including the agent version, type of OS, whether the machine is configured to have app packages attached and whether the machine is configured for writable volumes. At this point, if you're creating a packaging machine, the next step is to take a VM snapshot. Go into vCenter Server, power off the virtual machine and once it's powered off, right click the VM and select Snapshots Take Snapshot. Then after you package an application, you can revert to this snapshot to package another application. Now we're ready to capture an application as described in the next video. For more app volumes and Horizon technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.com.